So about a year ago, I went to the Sweetwater Gear Fest. My brother did a video on it. It was a lot of fun. He included some scenes I really wish he did not. If you don't know what Sweetwater is, it's basically this giant headquarters where they sell instruments and mic equipment and guitar pedals and just everything music. The actual place itself was like a giant mall, but for music stuff. And when I was there, it was the first year that they opened the band and orchestra room. When I walked in, lo and behold, just saxophones all over the wall. Every saxophone you could possibly ever want to try. He had like five Supremes on the wall, all the top Yamaha models, growling saxophones, P. Moriat, Eastman. But something that was really interesting to me is that no matter what horn I tried, there's always some guy that was like, hey, but did you check out the better sax? And you know, at this point I was like, why is it that I have an $8,000 horn in my hand and people are asking me about the better sax? Finally, I was curious and yeah, it's a really, really great horn. I just remember thinking, how did you make a horn this good for less than $1,000? Well, like I said, that was a year ago, and I pretty much forget how it feels because I have the memory of a goldfish. However, uh, Jay, whoa, whoa. Jay Metcalf has sent me a better sax, so let's go ahead and unbox it. Alrighty, here we go. No, no. Oh. Beautiful. Lots of good old bubble wrap. Here we have it. Better sax, better man. All right, let's keep going. Mingus. Ooh. Ooh, wow. Wow, look at that. Ooh. Okay, Mingus, you're gonna have to... Oh, this is a beaut. Let's check this out. Wow, this is a really unique looking case. Look at that. We got a cool logo here. The Better Sax. See what's in this little guy. Ooh, nothing's in here. I like the little orange and black look going on here. Orange, black, and white. Let's also get little backpack straps here. Oh, yes, yes, you can wear this. Look at that. Okay, where should we even start? So, saxophone. Register your instrument. Ooh, wow. Okay, we got assembly instructions. If you have no idea how to put a, together a saxophone, this is the booklet for you. Excellent. Okay, sweet water. Oh, dang, look at that. They checked this whole thing. Very handy. Let's see what's going on here. What do I do with this? If you're in the comments, will you tell me what this is for? Thank you. Okay, we got the man himself, Jay Metcalf. Now, what a professional man. Business master. This is how it's done. Let's see what this mouthpiece is looking like. Oh, looks like a stock mouthpiece. Very nice, very nice. Oh, little mustard yellow cleaner. Very beautiful, very satisfying. Oh, very silky and very soft and patty. Excellent. Let's see what this is. Oh, yum. Silica. Ooh, an extra. Okay, mm, more silica. Cork grease. Usually these used to smell like root beer. Let's see if it smells like root beer. It does not smell like root beer. Oh, dang it. It's okay. And we got a genome reed. Interesting. So I gave you a mouthpiece and a reed. So right out the box, you have all the ingredients to start. Let's see what this neck looks like. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. Look at that. What a unique looking neck. Oh, okay. Better sex. Looking forward to trying this. Moment of truth. Are you guys ready for this? Brace yourself. Oh, look. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, wow. Wow. Dude, what a beautiful color. Oh my gosh. It's like a dark gold. But not like super dark, like a brand new vintage Selmer gold. I really dig the color. Wow. All right, it's time for the field test. I like the little concave pearls here, right? They go inwards. I know a lot of the Eastman horns and the Ganagadel horns have this sort of seam concave pearl style. The spatula keys feel very flat. I like it. Going from B flat, B natural to C sharp sort of loop is very easy, but to do it in the reverse, 
you have to do that. I do feel like that is a healthy habit to develop, though. You should be able to do that with every horn. Well, well done. Nice design. Now, the palm keys feel a lot different than anything I'm used to. They feel a lot more resistant to press. It feels like the springs are very, very tight. It feels very close to a modern Selmer horn. Ah, they got the high F sharp key. That's nice. All the key action feels great. I have no complaints. Ooh, love that color and that neck look. That looks so cool. Here's the Mark VI Alto, the Boston Sack Shop neck. And here's the Yamaha Custom EX here. Thank you. 
the better sax out there. Wow, what a beautiful horn. I started to really understand the palm keys after such a short amount of time. If you get your hand positioning just right, palm keys is right there, right there. Pretty impressive. This one has solid intonation. Obviously, I need to play it longer than just this unboxing session. But just from this first time playing it, I'm having no trouble with the intonation. Everything's in great condition. This is a really, really strong horn. And because I'm just so used to the Yamaha on the Mark VI, I probably won't be playing this, which means I am giving it away. Follow these instructions to enter the giveaway. Anyway, it is 2 a.m. right now, and I need to drive 10 hours tomorrow. So, thank you guys so much for 189,000 subscribers. Oh, wow. Wow. Have a good day.